everyone, I'm Sarah, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video, we're going to crochet a caddy. It can be a remote caddy, a phone caddy, craft supplies, or books. It makes a great Father's Day gift, Mother's Day gift, or any crafter. It's great to hang up next to your bed so you can have your phone down next to you. You can put it on the couch arm or chair and put your remotes inside. Or you can hang it on the wall and put your craft supplies in it. So it has lots of wonderful uses. And also, it's really easy to stitch up. It measures about 15 inches wide and about 16 inches long. But if you want your caddy to be longer, you can just continue stitching the rows and make it longer. I like this one. The pockets are about seven inches. So it's a nice depth for your remotes. And if you're like me, I lose my remotes all the time. Now you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog. And as always, you'll find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make your remote caddy, you're going to need, of course, some yarn. I used a medium weight number four acrylic yarn. And the yarn that I used is the Premier Sweet Roll Sprinkles. And this color is called Periwinkle Sprinkles. It has some gray, some variegated, and this pretty periwinkle blue as well. You're going to need approximately five ounces or 245 yards unless you decide to make your caddy longer then of course you're going to need more yarn and that's of course up to you you're going to need your tape measure so that you can measure how far up to fold the front pocket as well as how long you want to make your caddy we're going to be stitching today with our eye hook that's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You need a needle to weave in ends and your scissors and then you'll also need some long straight pins and where we need these is once we fold up the bottom of our um, caddy to make the pocket we're going to divide it into several pockets. I think I'm just going to do one stitching down the middle and make two pockets. That way I can fit one of my crossword puzzles in one of the pockets. And so you'll need your pins just to pin your line and where, uh, where you're going to stitch. And don't worry, I'll show you how to do all of that as we go along. We'll be stitching our caddy in rows back and forth for the length of our caddy. We're going to begin with our slip knot. And we're going to chain 38 chains. Now this is our initial chain and I do recommend you stitch it just a little bit loose so that because that's going to become the top edge of our pocket and we don't want it all puckered in. All right. So we're going to stitch 38 chains. I have chained my 38 chains a little bit loose. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three. And we'll stitch one half double crochet in each of the chains working all the way across. I stitched one half double crochet in each of my chains across. We began in the second chain from the hook, so we have 37 half double crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. And now for row two, we're going to stitch one half double crochet in each of our half double crochets. Our chain one does not count as a stitch, so we'll begin right in that first half double crochet and then we'll stitch one half double crochet in each 
of the half double crochets across. These two rows will eventually, when we complete our caddy, they will be the top edge of our pocket. And that's why we're doing two rows of half double crochet. I completed that second row of half double crochets and I chained one. All right, so we chained one and turn. Now for row three, we're going to place one half double crochet in the first two half double crochets. So one and two. And again, that chain one does not count as a stitch. All right, now we're going to skip the next half double crochet and then in the next half double crochet, we're going to stitch what's called a half double crochet V-stitch. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, and stitch your half double crochet, chain one, and then stitch another half double crochet in that same stitch. That's a half double crochet V-stitch. And we're going to stitch these across. So we'll skip the next stitch, and then in the next stitch, stitch half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet, V-stitch. And this is what we'll do all the way across till we reach those last two stitches. I stitched my half double crochet V stitches all the way across and you end with three stitches unworked. We're going to skip the next stitch and stitch one half double crochet in those last two stitches and chain one. So for row three, you're going to have two half double crochets at the beginning. Then you'll have 16 half double crochet V stitches and then you end with two half double crochets. Chain one and turn. Now you may notice just a little bit of curling here, but that's okay. It's gonna work itself out as we go. All right, so we're going to half double crochet in the first two stitches because again, our chain one does not count as a stitch here or throughout our project. This brings us to our half double crochet V stitch. We're going to go in that chain one space and stitch a half double crochet V stitch, which again is our half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And this is what we'll stitch all the way across. We'll go to the next chain one space and stitch half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that chain one space. And we'll do this all the way across this row. Oops, there we go. So we'll stitch our half double crochet V stitches in the chain one space of each of the ones from the previous row all the way across till we reach those last two stitches. I stitched my half double crochet V stitches in each of the chain one spaces from the previous row. And again, you're going to have 16 of those half double crochet V stitches. And then I'm going to stitch one half double crochet in the last two stitches and chain one. And so what we're going to do for row five is we're going to repeat row four. So our chain one again does not count as a stitch. One half double crochet in the first two stitches. Oops, there we go. And then half double crochet V stitch and the chain one spaces of each of those V-stitches across. I really love the half double crochet V-stitch because I think it makes a really nice texture. It's a little more compact 
than your regular double crochet v-stitch all right so I'm just going to continue working across stitching my half double crochet v-stitches in my chain one spaces I have completed row 5 which was again 2 half double crochets, 16 half double crochet v-stitches, and 2 half double crochets. And row 5 was just a repeat of row 4. And so what you're going to do to get the length of your caddy is you're going to continue to repeat row 4 for 41 more rows. So we're going to repeat the 2 half double crochets at the beginning, the 16 half double crochet v-stitches, and then ending with two half double crochets at the end, and we're going to repeat that for 41 more rows. I have stitched those additional 41 rows, so I have a total of 46 rows. All right, so now I want to do two rows of half double crochet so that it's the same as this in down here. So now what we're going to do is stitch a row of solid half double crochets. So we'll stitch one half double crochet in these first two half double crochet stitches. Then we'll go to the V-stitch and we'll stitch one half double crochet in the two half double crochet stitches. Do not stitch in the chain one space. One half double crochet in each, there we go, of the half double crochets only, do not stitch in the chain one space. All right, so one half double crochet in each half double crochet across. And again, do not stitch in the chain one spaces of our half double crochet V stitches. We're only stitching in the half double crochets themselves. We stitched in each half double crochet across, chain one and turn, and now we're just going to stitch a row of half double crochets in those half double crochet stitches. So one half double crochet in each of the half double crochets, working all the way across and this is our last row of our caddy. And then we can start forming the caddy itself. I stitched that second row of one half double crochet and each half double crochet across. And at this point, we're going to cut our yarn and tie off. We'll need to go ahead and grab our needle and weave this in. And then we'll also need to weave in the other end where we started so that both ends are weaved in. You're going to take the bottom of your caddy and fold it up to form the pocket, and you should fold it up approximately seven inches. I pinned one side, and I'm going to pin the other, but I wanna make sure that I'm lined up across on the same row, okay? And then we'll pin the other side, and that's just to hold it in place, okay? We're going to turn our caddy to the side like this. We're going to take our yarn and we're going to join it in at the right bottom corner. Just like that. Now we're going to stitch single crochets up the side and we're going to stitch through both the front of the pocket and the back of the pocket. All right, now we don't have stitches to go into, so it's just evenly stitching, and you wanna make sure you go through the front and the back, and this is especially important that you go through both thicknesses and try to keep those stitches pretty close together. There is no set number of stitches. It's up to you. You just wanna stitch and make it nice and neat as you move up the side of your caddy. All 
All right, so we'll continue doing this until we reach up to the edge of the pocket. I single crocheted evenly up the side of my pocket going through the front and the back. And now I'm just going to continue doing this up the side here because we want to make sure we have a nice edge on our caddy. And so what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet up the edge, put three single crochets in the corner, work across the top, and then repeat this on the other side. I single crocheted evenly up the side. I'm to the corner up here at the top. I'm going to place three single crochets in that corner. I already did one. I did two more. And now I'm just going to single crochet in each of those half double crochets across the top of my caddy. I stitch single crochets in each of the half double crochets across. This brings me to the next corner and I've already stitched my three single crochets and now I'm just going to evenly single crochet down this side till I reach the side of that pocket. I single crochet down the side evenly and now I'm to the other side of my caddy where my pocket is. So I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side and I'm going to single crochet going through both thicknesses down the side of my pocket. And we want to make our stitches close enough so our goodies don't fall out of our pocket but not too close that it's all bunched up. I stitched all the way down the side, stitching the front and the back together. And now I'm going to cut my yarn. And we do need to weave in this end and this end, of course, from our pocket. And then the last thing we need to do after we tidy that up is decide where we want our pocket divisions and stitch them in. Now I'm going to decide where I want to place my pockets. Now I'm going to stitch down the center so I have two large pockets. You can divide it into three. You can even divide it into four, depending on what you're going to use it for. I want one pocket big enough to slide in my crossword puzzle book. So I'm just going to fold this in half, and I'm going to mark it with a pin down here. And then I'll know that's the center. Okay, so here's my center where I'm going to make my stitches and I'm just going to follow this up to here and I'll give it a good eyeball and I'm going to put another pin in here in the center. I'm going to look at it, make sure it's where I want it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is called top stitching and we're going to be stitching through the front and the back but we're going to do it from the front and I'm going to follow this line right here in my stitches. All right, I'm going to turn it a little so I can use my hand to get up in there. I'm going to put my hook through here and through here. All right, we're going to grab that yarn, pull it through, and chain. All right, now I want to go this direction. And so I'm just going to follow this line right here because really all I did here is join my yarn. Okay, so I'm going to go back in because I want that to be nice and secure and chain. Now I'm going to go in making sure I go through both thicknesses. Oops. I'm using my hand because I think it's just a little bit easier and see how I'm stitching that. Now you can put your stitches closer together if you want to. I'm going to move that needle so I don't poke myself. Just take your time and just follow the way that you're going. 
There we go. And remember, stitch through both thicknesses so that we know that it's being stitched through. Almost done. A few more stitches. And you just want to take your time on this and make sure you get a nice even row of stitches. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just do that, chain one. I'm going to look at it, make sure it's the way I like it, and I really do like how it turned out. And you'll notice it pulls a little, and it's going to do that if you do this way also. But it'll stretch out just a little bit once you're finished. Okay, now let's cut our yarn. Tie that off, and now we just need to tidy up the ends with our needle. <clears throat> now this top one, I just really like to make a couple of stitches in there, because i that's where it's going to get the most wear and tear, okay? And then I'll just go to the back and weave that in, some of those stitches that I just made, because we don't want that coming out. All right, and now I'll just do the end, and my caddy will be all ready for all the goodies that I want to put inside it, whether I use the remote, my phone, some books, or maybe you just use it for crafts. And there you go. Now remember, if you want to add more, you can. Or you could do three pockets instead of two. Three, four, however many pockets that you need on your caddy. And so that is really how easy it is to make one of these caddies. Whether you want to use it for remotes, phones, books, craft supplies, it has lots of wonderful uses. You could hook it on a chair, you could hook it next to your bed, or even just hang it up on the wall and put your craft supplies in it. And of course, it makes a great Father's Day gift.